Good morning, everyone. Welcome to how to low flow sample. The main things you're gonna need when you're low flow sampling are your sample bottles. Here I've got the regular sample and then a duplicate. You're gonna need your pump. This is a peristaltic pump. We've got the Hanameter HI98130. Here's the tubing I use for sampling. And then this is just more silicone tubing. And then there's a couple of buckets here. I've got my sample sheet, my water level, water and Alkanox, and then my VOC meter. Right now I'm going to check for VOCs in the well. So I'm gonna toss that, put it all the way down, and see if the meter goes up or not. Next thing is I'm going to check the water level. Keep letting it go down. There you go. So it's at about 1.9 meters below ground surface. The next thing to do would be to take the depth of the well. Just lower this all the way down until it touches the bottom. And then we're going to set up the pump and tubing somewhat strategically. So the tubing is going to come out here go in there and then come out here into my bucket. One trick that I learned from having to put tubing down wells is, especially when you're dealing with high density tubing, is you wanna bend it out so that it's not super curved, it's pretty straight. And then you wanna cut the bottom piece there. See how it's kind of like at a right angle? You wanna cut it off so that it's got a nice kind of sharp end to it. See if you can see the difference there a little bit. Yeah. And then that way, if the well has any spacing between the riser and screen, this should just slip by it. So this tubing is all the way to the bottom. As you can hear there. From here, I want to pull it up about a foot to two feet off the bottom so that it's not in any of the silt or sand that's collected at the bottom of the well and then because this is high density I'm gonna shape it a bit so that it goes nicely into the silicone tubing and stays about two feet off the bottom there and then I'm gonna hook up the battery nice and slow and there it is you can see it coming up the tubing I usually play with the variable pump speed here so I get somewhat of a decent trickle you've got your water meter left in the well so you can take periodic measurements of it I usually measure every three minutes or so on my field sheet you can also go by volume maybe every half liter so when that Three minutes is up for me, I fill up this jar and I take a reading of the parameters and then I also take a reading of the water level. And I'm gonna do that every three minutes until I get three consecutive readings that aren't varying too much. It would tell me I'm getting a representative sample of the groundwater. And that's not just the water that's kind of been sitting in the well. And then I'll go ahead and fill up these jars. First jar's worth of water. I'm also going to give the instrument a little rinse. Pop it in there. Okay, so I took my last parameter reading and everything was good, it was all stable. So I'm going to try and separate the water as evenly as I can throughout all these, and that just gives you the best result for QA, QCing a sample. So I'm just gonna fill these up and then the two amber bottles for each sample and then we're good to go. So everything's packed away. Samples are in the cooler with the ice packs and 
I'm going to leave the site. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you learned something.